Hey guys, it's Crazy D back here with Crazy D Productions. And today we're going to be learning about how to make a full circle on Doom. So uh, there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm just showing you the quickest way. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on. Let's say I want to walk into this room and this wall will be circular. I don't know for what reason, but who cares? I'm gonna copy this and then sh shift paste it over here. And if you're like, what is he doing? Watch my other videos so you can understand what is going on. So I need to make this circular. It's a four sided dimension. It could be five, eight, 10, 20, but it's easier to do it if it's a four dimension. Even a three, but you'd have to get the math right. So um, we need four 90 degree angles to make this a, uh, 90 degrees. We need, yeah, so to make 360, so it's easier. So let's go ahead and go to lines mode. You can select all four of them. There's a quick way to select them, which you hit the C button and then um, go to sectors mode with pressing S or up here. Click that. Once it's selected, just hit the L and then all of them will be selected. Maybe a tip you didn't know, which is fine. Nobody's born knowing. And um, hold down shift and press the C button. We have this. So our angle that we want is 90, per 90 degrees. Distance, I think it was like 12. I think the distance is like a 10 maybe that we want. Maybe an eight, maybe a nine. Nine, nine, 11, 12, 12 looks pretty good. And then, oh, so we got eight, 12 and 90. So let's remember that. Before we do anything, we have to go and make this a um, to one. So by doing that, you're gonna hit those uh, keys, which are the close bracket until open and close bracket all the way till it's to one. Basically it's one pixel. That's what I call it. One pixel, two pixel, four. It just changes the grid size like over and over and over and over. And it makes it bigger and bigger and bigger. The smaller you get, the smaller the grid size gets down to the pixels. So we have these lines selected. We are at one. We're gonna go ahead and shift C. Those same settings are still applied. Vertices, if you don't understand what this is, it basically says you can even make levels like this, which would probably be really good if you put switches on each one of these and it's an open door to a circular room. So, so the point of vertices, these are the vertices, the little blue things. If I hit OK, it'll make that circle, but it'll only give it one more vertice. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Let's go back, control Z, and let's go to this, sections L, shift C. The vertices basically means how many edges you're gonna have. So if you go two, it'll be less edges, three, less edges. The higher you go, the smoother the circle will look. I mean, you can go up to three million, or I don't know how much the software allows you to do, but I think around 19 to 15 is a very good, um, number to do because when you come back this is a very detailed circle this this looks very well i mean if you ask me this is this is i'm not gonna say as circular as it get but this is pretty good for your doom game this is a very nice circle so let's say i want to make the room a circular room also then what i would have to do would be probably make i have to make this room a circle Let's see if I can do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, so what you gotta do is, um, you're gonna select all the doors, I mean all the walls around it. It should be, I prefer if it's a perfect square. If not, then you're gonna have to work around it. So, Shift C, and as you see, we can make partial circle. I don't know where that guy is at. We can make a partial circle, but it looks like a P. Wow, that's awesome. Pretty cool font. 
Um, but if you want to make a full circle, like an exactly full circle, this needs to be a square. So I'm going to see what I can do. Let's decrease the grid a little. And then I'm going to put this line over here. Make another line. This might work. It might not. Sections. Delete. Okay. I'm going to go to vertices and delete that vertice. And then let's go back in here. Copy. Paste. A. W. Okay. So then I go all my L's. I get all the line. I hit the L button. I get all of them. Shift C. And those same settings that you just used for that should work right but if you zoom in you can see well I don't know if you can see it there but the vertices you can you see right there there's an like a triangle like an edge increase the vertices at this size I would say at least to like if you want a smooth circle eh, probably around 40 and then hit OK now this guy is basically a cylinder so a perfect no. there's nothing such as a perfect circle and if you guys are going to go on a debate with me on comments go ahead i am very literal so i don't recommend it um but yeah this is basically how you make it and let's say you had a hallway there before just fix it the way i did all i'm going to do now is join these sections over and there's a couple of ways to join the sections do this and that should um, fix it and if that didn't work then you can do this I'll just put a line here stop it oh, that was weird line from here to here line from here to here and then drag the vertices over and make this a section uh, that's a couple ways so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments let me know i don't think i need to go do a video of me running around the circle to prove it's a circle it's pretty circular to me so um yeah thanks for watching and i guess um i'll see you next time crazy d productions out